In this video we will be showing a very quick and simple way to paint the Screaming Antelope from the Kingdom Death box set. To begin with, I gave the model an all over coat of Chaos Black Spray. Next, I uh, airbrushed Rhinox Hide all over the figure. Uh, this will be used mainly as my base for everything going forward. Next, I airbrushed over the muscular skin tone with Corn Red. I then wet brush Mephiston Red over the top of the Corn Red. Wet brushing is a very similar process to dry brushing, yet you keep more of the paint on there, just making sure that it's not runny enough to actually get into the recesses. This can sometimes be achieved by not watering down the paint and using it straight from the pot. I then copied the same technique again with Evil Sun Scarlet, but as a lighter tone. So this time it was more towards the edge and of course didn't encompass all of the muscular tone to create a shade and highlight. I then went back over the bits of the fur that I may have caught with the red, again with Rhinox Hide, just applying it in the areas that required it. I now apply Doom Bowl Brown over the Rhinox Hide areas in a very similar fashion to what I did with the Muscle. I then dry brush Scrag Brown over the top to give it a highlight. Then using a wet palette I mixed from Talan Sand to, uh, towards Yushabti Bone for the inner rib cage. Next I laid Agrax Earthshade over the top of all the fur. Garrowberg Crimson is then applied into the mouth-like crevice of the rib cage, covering everything that had already coloured. I then wet blended from Scrag Brown to Talan Sand to Yushabti Bone for the hoofs and horns on the uh, antelope's head. And again I apply Agrax Earthshade to the horns to give them a lovely shaded blended feel. The teeth are also painted the same way as I painted the rib cage bones. So going from Talan Sand to Yushabti Bone in a wet blend. I then wet blended between Xerius Purple and Gene Stealer Purple to create the eyes.
Next I paint the hands using rat skin flesh and then wet blending up to Kislev flesh. I then airbrush on Vallejo Mecha Varnish onto the uh, muscular portions of the figure uh, to give it a shiny, glossy feel. This was applied in two coats. The end result is a very glossy, shiny, muscular tone. This represents the flesh being ripped off a screaming antelope. Well, thank you very much for watching my painting video. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you've learned a few things. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more.